What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mark EF, baby, and welcome. Today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now I've been told this is a scary game, but it low-key looks like I'm about to play a hentai. Or I don't know what this is. Am I supposed to read? Am I supposed to play? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just uh, press new game and see how it goes. The music is the music is bumping though. New game. Question mark. Hey. Oh, cool. You have to click. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally, totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making, making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I really like this music though. Okay, let's go. Sayori. Uh, I gotta do a voice, huh? Ha! Ha! I overslept again. But I caught you this time! Um, what's my voice? Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Marky e. F, baby. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, I don't like your type. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't have... I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to... Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street... Now this is like the narrator voice. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Markia baby, have you decided in the club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. It's like, clubs? Like, what do you mean? Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. <gasps> did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm sure that it's possible that I did. In one of my, on one of my, one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you d won't learn how to socialize or have any other skills before college. I guess I'm a, I'm a nerd in this. I'm a weird looking nerd. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Sayori just cares. Duh. I know you're happy now, but I die to... And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? Neat. N-E-E-T. Hold on. Hold on. This is the term used in the field of education. The acronym stands for not in education, employment, or training, but young people have started using to use it as a term for bums, laybouts with no future. Ah, oh, losers. Okay, back to the game. Okay, where were we with the game? 
Okay, um, I'll read this again. And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me, don't make me keep worrying about you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured? <clears throat> Why do I let myself get lectured by a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is an the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Club <clears throat> clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. Wrong voice. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. <laughs> Honestly, you even, you've even... On, dude, I can't do reading games. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, you've, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Crap. Put the cursor over here. <laughs> you don't need me to wait. You don't. <clears throat> you don't. You don't. You don't need to. What the fuck? You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. I can't read. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. This is how all hentai start. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Ooh, the literature club. Not that I, not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after who, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in the literature club is guaranteed to be even less. Sounds like a true anime, you know. That said, my interest in literature club is guaranteed to be to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of, it, all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! <laughs> this is terrible. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly... Who uses the word... Who uses the word dejectedly? I dejectedly... Dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Kind of activity. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. We back with the music.
Everyone, the new members here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the... This is more like it. This is more like it. Welcome... Um. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Uh... Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Fuck, there's another one. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 Mark, yeah, baby, what a nice surprise. It's like Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Mark, yeah, baby. All words escape me in this situation. Look at this nice situation we got here. I'll make a fine hentai. Stop, stop. <laughs> This club is full of incredibly cute girls! Oh. What are you looking at? Hold on, I gotta... What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. She's so feisty. So sorry. So, so sorry. Natsuki. Natsuki. Not Natsuki. Huh. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. What else about her small figure? Stop. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest girl, the smartest in the club. But don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you've already known Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Mark EF, baby. Monica What? <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. <gasps> we don't know each other. Well, no, this is me. We don't know each other. We don't know each other. We don't know each other. Well, we rarely talked. We were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come on, sit down, Markia, baby. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. So sorry, I got a little too excited. You're the vice president. Whoop that ass. Then how about I make some tea as well? I don't know what voice I'm using for her. The girls have a few desks arranged. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As you say, as Sayori mentioned. It's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I hadn't... I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. 
Oh wait, just hurry and take one. Sayori, Sayori, gra Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. It's delicious. Say Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere else? Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh. Uh, eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. But not for you, you know. You, dummy. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You need a good voice, cause you are. She's probably the most, the hottest one right now. You keep a whole tea. <clears throat> you keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give it. Don't worry, the teachers gave us some permission. Let me read that again. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. You know, because it's like you're talking to your crush or something, you know? And, you know? You know? After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, oh, I, I guess. <laughs> don't let her, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Don't worry, baby, I believe you. I believe you so much. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature glove? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori tells- Since Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Oh, wait, wait! Skirt! We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica. Mon- Mon- Monica. Say it slowly. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you- How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Oh, wait, wait, let me read that again. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much- I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica. Monica really is a great leader. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be really hard- it must be hard to start a new club. Just like getting subs on YouTube and getting likes and comments. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and get, and hit that. I can say it all fast. Smash that like button and write a comment down below. Boom, boom. boom. You could put it that. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all their effort to start something brand new. 
especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like, fe like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we all really grow this club. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. So, such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really... Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we were... Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea, the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, so Markia, baby, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And not much of a reader, I guess. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can, well, that can change. Leading up to a hentai here. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Stop. <laughs> my favorites are usually novels that. Oh, <clears throat> my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story is in la la la, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Horror. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. Wow, I've not read a thing, single thing, huh? I'm just an un uneducated neat. A neat. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimal level, probably like goosebumps. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Re really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or makes me or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Shut up. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what, gives, you, what gives you that idea? <laughs> You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were making... Oh, wait. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. No. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes are poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sl... Sayori sidles. Is that a word? Sidles. 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 S I S I A B C D O oh, L you go. Sidles. 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 Is that a new word? This is an old dictionary. I don't have it here. Wow. S I D L. S I D L. What the heck? 
Webster's New Pocket Dictionary. Another time. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes away. Natsuki averts her eyes. Dude, averts? Like, that is a, that is a, you know, a dollar word. You wouldn't like them. Ah. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have... do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example on and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Excuse me. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I want to read. I want to read. I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. Question marks. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem our Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Oh, she has her hands like this. I'm not reading that again. Isn't that right, Markia, baby? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. One, two, three, four, me. <laughs> Stop. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have... Sayori may... Bruh. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. He's such a jackass. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Markia, baby... You, you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. What the f- I thought you said you didn't want to join the club and now you're- Indecisive. 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 Strike one. Right. Okay. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. You're a- you're a bitch. That's what you are. Just a big bitch. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club! Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. 
write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me at once. Monica looks over at me once more. Mark yet, baby, mark yet, baby. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really, can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Markia baby, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, that's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for the clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Be right back. I have to piss. So I'm back from using the restroom, but uh, instead of going to the restroom, I went to Ikea. And not the restroom. And you know what I did? I made a really bad mistake. Uh, I didn't save my game. So it looks like we're going to have to do this from the beginning. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, what we're really going to do is I'm just going to click really fast and fast forward everything. Oh my god, yeah, Sayori, oh my god, yeah, uh, anime, uh, yeah, hentai, ooh, uh, yeah, let's go, ooh, 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 tentacles, ooh, 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 thumbs, ooh, pinkies, I don't know, yes, ooh, 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 silent part, yes, you're so hot, oh, ooh, you're hot, no, uh, no, you're cute, uh, you're hot too, I don't know, ooh, uh, I can't believe I'm rating anime girls, oh my god, let's go, let's go, let's go, ooh, uh, 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 skip, 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 skip. <laughs> Oh yeah, do that with your green eyes. I didn't even see the color of their eyes, man. I've been reading where it's, I don't even look at the characters. Oh, this is where we're at. Skirt! Okay, good. Now we could go continue my narration. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Ma Nika. Ma Nika. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright! I'll just need to make one of the most. Oh, wait, wait. I'll just, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Or writing a poem. This will be the best poem ever. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever, whoever likes your poem the most. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe fear. Oh, I don't want that one. Extreme. Yes, I want the purple hair one. Hopelessness, contamination, lust. Grief. Son of a gun. This one like this one likes like weird stuff. See? Suicide. I knew it. Oh, that's not good. Passion. Oh, climax. Death. Frightening. Yes. Graveyard. Yes. Uh Lollipop? Of course you would like the fucking lollipop. Massacre. Oh my gosh, she likes that pleasure. We're gonna get, we gonna get the purple hair girl. Laugh. Alone. Son of a gun. Misery. Bitch. Scars. Uh, unrestrained. Uh, disoriented. We got the purple hair chick for sure. Hi again, Markia, baby. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. 
はあ、はあ、はあ、なあ、あ、なあ、don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least, but at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at Literature Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Marky F, baby. I hope this isn't too o- overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. You're a bitch. And last year, too. Fucking bitch. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Yes, I have other motives. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Uh, 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 uh. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. So, don't worry, guys. Marky at Baby always gives his best as long as he's, as long as he's having fun. Okay! <laughs> My god. He helps me with busy work without me ask, even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How depend. How dependable. Sayori. Oh, wait. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I may be a little jealous. I hope she's jealous. How come you. How come? You and Marky have baby can become good friends too! Um, uh. Stop being a little shy, girl. The shy ones. They're the ones you gotta break. You know what I mean. Huh? Oh, dang it! Oh, crap, I skipped some stuff. Oh,、uh, can I go back? Wait, Sayori. Eh,、uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? What is it? No, 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 never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I will make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. So, it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. What could we do? Discuss it. Discuss it if you want. I know what, what other things we should do in private. Maybe discuss a little bit about. This, this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks. I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Give me that! Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick, up, to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her, in, in, her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. From distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the book. Oh, what? I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, 
she seems to be on the first few pages. What, what, the music changed. Ah, oh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. We about to get it. We gonna make the move! <laughs> but that only makes her hide her face deeper in their book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... You're distracted too! I'm freaking hot! That's the book that you gave me, right? Who? Huh. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. Oh. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, oh, I see. You you bought it because of me. You like me. Stop it. Just I will accept you. I, I like you for how you are. There's, no, there's something obviously fairly off. What did I just read? It's, there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, huh? Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Oh look, Mark. Marky F. Baby. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of, uh... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. ah ha, -ha. Yuri gently giggles. All of a sudden, are you not a fan... Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Marky F, baby? No, it's not that. I'm a fan of you, baby. Let's not, let's not hide. Let's not have no secrets between me and you. I mean, I could definitely... Oh, what the hell? I mean, I could definitely enjoy these those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is not into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that... Those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at a life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be... Okay, go ahead. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be able... I felt like, I feel like she's been like... I've changed her to have three voices, you know? She has many voices. But because they gave... <laughs> But because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in, then suddenly when you thought you related to the protagonist, they may have a naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or any. I haven't lost. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kinda of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's I real Oh, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. Uh, that's... That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you, don't, you don't have to. Ah. 
What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. What is up with you, Yuri? What is up? Stop being a little, little bitch. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? Yuri? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Dollar word. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in a company with someone. I s I see. Well... Well... <clears throat> well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly, particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like, it looks like she's reading from my book instead. So, so sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really... You, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ah ha ha. Oh, um... <clears throat> ah ha 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 Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up... Up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh... I'm just a nice guy. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Going for the kill. It feels like my left arm is in the, the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ooh, I like this view. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Well, duh. You're attracted to her, and you wanna... Stop. <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you re- Are you ready? That's what she said. Eh? To turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Just freaking kiss her. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, oh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. I, I, come on, I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie reader. My, my literature score is probably below average. <laughs> to be honest, my uh, reading score was lower than average. I remember when I was younger, here, I'll give you a number. Everyone scored 1,200 on some sort, certain um, reading score, and I scored a 500 in fifth grade. I thought I was dumb. <laughs> Back to this. It's probably the least I could do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Dollar word. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her as she, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it, catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You, you, you think so? How, do, how does she? Well, I think she's 
Well, I think she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I, I see. Yuri remained silent for a moment. But Marky F, baby, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. That's how she's doing it, right? Playing with her hair? <laughs> Let's go. I guess I'm. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I'm hitting on you, obvi obviously. What are you saying all of a sudden? I wanna, wanna, wanna. Oh. Okay, everyone. I remember her voice. I think it's about time we shared today's poems with each other. We might not have a tough time if we wait too long. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, oh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read with you? Um, I guess I don't have much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In, the, in that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yes, I did. Indeed. Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't. Or... I don't know her voice. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, duh, we're gonna pick, uh, I don't know, let's, let's pick Yuri, cause, you know, we like Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. That's not why we're sitting with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. She likes it. Exceptional. Oh, I'm sorry. Exceptional! Eh? What was that? Huh? Did, did I just say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. You. He's going to hate- He's going to hate me! Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's- That's- I guess- I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Poquito, very small. Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. 
Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you, hottie. I didn't say that. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant... Oh. Uh... Yuri chills off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And have having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing style separate from the topic matter, and they forfeit the two together. The end result is that both style and they express into this, express into this, <gasps> are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice. And by learning it by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Bi <clears throat> biased how? Um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. You're a fr I'm getting sick of you. Sorry! It's fine. It's fine. It's more like the it's fine, like, like, get the fuck out of here. Kinda it's fine, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please, please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreaming, dreamingly as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. What is that word? Calms breathing air of the pres- Calms breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I have no idea what that means, but that was fucking deep. <laughs> Click outside the poem area to continue. Wait, is there more of the poem? Uh, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. That was beautiful handwriting. Shut up. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. It, it was a, the penmanship was a little bit hard, but stop, stop putting yourself down so much. Give yourself some credit. Ah. Well, I just don't read. <clears throat> well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It. It wasn't too short, shut the fuck up. I usually write longer poems. Or I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really, I, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. <laughs> Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh shoot, she gets deeper. Something easy to digest, I suppose. It was really hard for me. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Actually, this was it like a like a Mario. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Marky. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Marky, yeah, baby. Really? I must have totally- I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose- I, Well, I suppose you did only glance on it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than just tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in their last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. You're in high school. What do you have that's so troubling? And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Your rule, yours was really imp- Yours was really impressive, too. So- Ours probably sucked. <laughs> nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Do you think so? You guys are thinking what I'm thinking whenever she stands like that. Stop. Yeah, of course! Oh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I keep doing my best for you, Marky F, baby. Oh, they do stuff for me. Me! Me too! Who should I... Who should I show my poem to next? Okay. We are going to stop here. I don't know what to really think about this game, but we're gonna finish it. It's supposedly a scary game. It's supposedly a really disturbing game. So I guess we gotta continue on to find out. But that's enough for now. Hope you enjoyed what we had here. Loki, this is a freaking hentai. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Marky and baby out. Have a good night. Peace. This is freaking Loki a hentai.